this is a field that's really moving extremely fast uh, based on really quite solid data. Uh, Preclinically, we know very well that actually the evidence is there in regard to PD-1, pd expression, as well as other markers for the checkpoint inhibitors. Phase 1 slash 2 data has really shown a very promising uh, uh, outcome. If anything, uh, at this meeting also, there has been an update on the uh, uh, Checkmate 040 study, which is looking at nivolumab in patients with HCC. And this showed actually uh, now it's a collection of almost close to 260 patients, a continued response rate solid to of 20% and the probably duration of the treatment to close to about nine plus month. Uh, with this said, uh, and based on this data, the nivolumab versus sorafenib study in the first line studying is still ongoing. And of course, we're looking very much forward for this data. Along that same line, uh, the argument in regard to when to use checkpoint inhibitors in HCC is not really uh, clarified yet. And as such, uh, and based on certain data that showed probably before or after sorafenib, it uh, really probably carries the same outcome as it was shown in the Checkmate 040 study. For that purpose, pembrolizumab versus best supportive care in the second line setting is again a fully justified study that's ongoing and again, we're waiting for the results. Those two between Checkmate 459 sorafenib versus nivolumab and the pembrolizumab versus best supportive care were presented as trial and progress at that meeting as well. The story is a little bit uh, more complex than that. Actually, there's quite a bit of uh, basic science evidence and preclinical evidence, as well as from other diseases that probably combination of the checkpoint inhibitors would be very valuable. Uh, check, uh, the combination of a tremilumumab, which is uh, again uh, a, uh, a, a anti uh, uh, CTLA-4 plus duravulumab, which is anti-PD-1, uh, is a study that's ongoing looking at the combination versus the single agent of each one of those. And again, we'll be looking for uh, the data outcome. It will be unfair and I probably did not give full justice for all the studies going on in immune therapy with HCC, but nonetheless, I at least illustrated uh, the, key, uh, the key ones or some of the key ones that are critical, including for the current uh, phase three trials, the two of them being the nivolumab versus sorafenib and the Pembro versus best supportive care.